Buster, what are you doing? We are going to use this dress-up box to put on a play! <laughs> <laughs> this play is going to be about pirates and I'm going to be Captain Busterbeard! Yar! This will be so much fun! I can do my juggling trick! Uh, maybe, so long as it's piratey. And I want to sing this new song I made up. It goes like this. <laughs> Who's the big bus? Oh yeah. Uh, I'm bandit. The big bus. Pirates oh, yeah. don't sing. My pirate does. I can have lots of tentacles, <laughs> like giant squids. <laughs> <laughs> A giant squid, Ash. You'll be great. Come on, guys, let's go. There's so much to do. <laughs> <laughs> I'm actually more into tractor jazz. We're ready! Oh? Yar! This is the story of Captain Busterbeard. <laughs> I'm the bravest pirate in the whole wide world. And I'm his best friend, the juggling pirate! <laughs> Look, what's that? It's another pirate. Not just any pirate, mm -hmm. it is I. Bandit Beard the Singing Pirate! Bandit? Oh no! Who's the big bus? Oh yeah! I'm the big bus! Oh yeah! I'm a super fast bus and I zoom zoom zoom! I'm the speediest Come on, Ash. bus in it's the room! It's your room, turn! Room. It's me, the giant! <laughs> Who's the big bus? This is a disaster! What are you talking about? The audience love it! Huh? Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Ash. Time for the big finish. I'm too nervous. I'll do it wrong. You can do it, Ash. We're here to have fun. I don't want to do the play without you. I'm the giant squid. Squid. I am the giant squid. Look at all my tentacles. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa. We're the big bus. <laughs> 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 Whoa! That was great fun, Buster! Yeah, it was! Buster and his friends are back at school. They are telling each other what they got up to over the summer. Buster is ah. so excited to tell everyone about his shark tooth. <laughs> but first, Scout is telling everyone what she got up to over the summer. This summer, I went surfing for the first time ever. It was so cool! There was this one wave I saw that was absolutely massive! but I still got to surf it without falling off. And I went so fast! Scoot, scoot! Wow, Scout told such a cool story. Huh. What's wrong with Buster? Mm. Oh, he thinks his shark tooth story won't be interesting enough after Scout's story. Hmm. Buster is going to tell everyone how he got the tooth. This summer, I went exploring in the deep, dark wood. It's full of animals and monsters, but I wasn't afraid one bit. <laughs> oh. But then... I came face to face with... a dinosaur! But he had a oh. sore tooth. So I took it out for him to make him feel all better. Ah. Wait a second. That's not right. Dinosaurs are extinct. Oh dear. Bandit thinks Buster isn't telling the truth. He couldn't really meet a dinosaur, could he? Oh. All right. It's not really a dinosaur tooth. It's a shark tooth. 
I thought that wouldn't be mm. interesting enough. But Buster, sharks are way cooler than dinosaurs. Go Buster, tell us the story. <laughs> this summer, I was at the beach, but then I saw... Mm. No. Yes, oh. pirates are even cooler <laughs> than sharks. <laughs> yeah, my hearty. <laughs> hmm. Okay, ah. the pirates and me, we found a shark, but he had a sore tooth. So we decided oh. to take the tooth hmm. out with a little help from <laughs> a friendly little bee. <laughs> we took out the sore tooth and then they played catch with it. Gotcha! <laughs> and they played on the beach all day long. What a great story! It's so much fun to use your imagination, especially with friends. It's a sunny day at Buster's house. Oh look! Mommy Bus is helping a kitten with a sore leg. There, all fixed and bandaged up. <laughs> Scout is here to drive to school with Buster. They are playing in the playground. Oh dear! Scout hurt her tire. Buster's got an idea. What is he up to? He's bandaged up Scout's tire with toilet roll. All fixed! Great work, Buster! <laughs> Looks like Ash wants to be bandaged up as well. <laughs> and now Scout wants her other tires bandaged up. But Buster is all out of toilet roll. Bandit has a cheeky idea. They're all taking the toilet roll. They're getting the toilet roll everywhere. This looks very messy. They're getting a bit carried away. Oh dear, they've covered the playground in toilet roll. Teacher doesn't seem very pleased. Mommy Bus is here to take Buster home. She wonders what has upset the teacher. Buster explains he was trying to help Scout like Mommy helped the kitten. Mommy will be able to bandage it properly. Time to get properly fixed up. I wonder what Buster's going to learn at school today. Oh, a volcano! Wow! They're going to do an experiment. The teacher is showing them what to do. First, a drop of white powder. Then three drops of food coloring. Then some vinegar to make it all bubbly. Wow, it looks like an erupting volcano. Isn't that amazing? Everyone is so excited. They're going to do the experiment all by themselves. What a mess. It looks like Bandit didn't do it right. Oh no! Scouts didn't go right either. Maybe Buster? Buster has made just as much mess as the others. Why isn't it working? Can Ash get it right? Buster is going to check. Ash is still putting ingredients in. Whoa! It worked! Nice work, Ash! But how did Ash get it right when everyone else's went wrong? Oh, he followed the instructions on the board! What a good idea! The teacher is proud of Ash. Now the others are going to try again. But first, they check what they need to do. One drop of white powder. Then three drops of food coloring. <laughs> then some vinegar to make it all bubbly. <laughs> Hooray! It's working! The volcanoes are all bubbling over. Don't they look great? Good job, everyone! 
<laughs> it's amazing what you can do when you follow the instructions. <laughs> the teacher is so proud of everyone. <laughs> it's a windy day at the park. Buster and Daddy Bus are here for a fun day out. Daddy Bus has a surprise for Buster. What could it be? Oh, look! It's a kite! Buster gets ready to fly it. Daddy Bus pushes it up into the air. Wow! It's flying so high! Well done, Buster! Look! It's Monty, the hot air balloon! Oh, no! A big gust of wind has blown the kite away! It's caught on Monty, and he hasn't noticed! Don't worry, Buster. Daddy has a plan. Oops! Watch out, Daddy Bus! Whoa! Great header! Go, Buster! Bandit and Ash look very confused. Where are they going? Buster is trying to get Monty's attention. But he's not looking where he's going. Watch out! Oh, no! Buster has driven straight into a muddy puddle. He's stuck in the mud! Daddy heaves him out! Great teamwork, guys! Uh-oh! A tree has fallen across the road! But that won't stop them! Daddy Bus flies right over the log! And Buster slides straight underneath! Wow! That was awesome! Quick! There's Monty! Looks like Daddy Bus has an idea! There's a huge pile of mud and they're splashing through it! What are they doing? They've drawn a picture of their kite in the mud, and Monty has finally noticed a kite oh. wrapped around him. Oops! <laughs> Buster gets his kite back. Ah. Thank you, Monty. Hold tight, Buster. Phew! That was a close one. Buster looks so excited. <laughs> I wonder why. A storybook. Buster wants Mommy to read to him. Buster loves a good fairy tale. <laughs> Mommy's reading Buster the story of Goldilocks and the three bears. When the bears had gone out, Goldilocks came to the window. She tried their porridge, but the first bowl was too hot. Buster thinks that's very funny. But look at the time. Mommy can't read all day. Buster's upset. He wants to know what happens next in the story. But Mommy knows what to do. Maybe Grandpa can read to Buster? Grandpa is out watering the plants, but Buster wants him to read more of the storybook. Yes, Grandpa can read to him for a bit. He loves stories of great adventures and brave heroes. What's happening now? Goldilocks sits on a chair that's too small, and it breaks. How funny. Buster loves this story. But what's this? Mommy says it's time for dinner. The rest of the story will have to wait. Buster has some nice fish fingers and vegetables for dinner. But he's eating them all really fast. He wants to get back to the story as soon as possible. Hmm. Mommy and Grandpa are still eating. They can't read to him right now. Buster really wants to know what happens next. Look! He's trying to read it himself. He's not very good at reading, but he's trying really hard. Wow! He's getting it! Mommy and Grandpa are so proud of him. Good job, Buster. But, oh dear, he's getting sleepy too. Mommy's reading the book to Buster as a bedtime story. Now Goldilocks is asleep in the bear's bed. Oh, look, Buster has fallen asleep. Aw, he'd had such a busy day, he couldn't stay awake for the end. Good night, Buster. Buster is having fun splashing in some very muddy puddles outside his house. Look, it's Grandpa Bus. Oops, now they're both covered in mud. But Grandpa has a plan. Where's he taking Buster? They're at the car wash to get cleaned up. Hooray! It looks like the car wash is all out of bubbles. Aha! There's the soap! Grandpa adds a small squirt. 
and Buster turns on the car wash. Go, Buster, go! Hang on. That's a lot of soap, Grandpa Bus. <laughs> Buster is covered in soapy bubbles. How funny! That was a very good joke, Grandpa. Now it's Grandpa's turn to get cleaned up. Looks like Buster's got a plan. He's getting his own back. Grandpa is covered in soap. He looks very silly. Look, Terry the tractor is here for a wash. Whoa, go easy, Buster! The bubbles are overflowing! Oh dear, what a soapy mess! Otis doesn't look very happy. Time to clear up the mess. What a silly day! Buster and his friends are having a great time camping in the woods with Daddy Bus. Daddy is making some spooky shadows as he tells them a ghost story. Whoa, that monster is super scary! Phew, don't worry, gang. It's only Daddy Bus. Looks like it's time for bed. Good night, everyone. Daddy Bus is off to collect some more firewood for the fire. Good night, Buster. Hang on. What is Buster up to? He's turning the firewood into scary antlers. Scout is fast asleep. Yikes! What is that? <gasps> it's Buster's scary shadow! Poor Scout! <laughs> Don't worry, Scout. It was only Buster. <laughs> now it's Bandit's turn to be pranked. Aha! The spooky shadow scared him as well. Looks like Buster is getting sleepy. But Bandit and Scout have a plan. Buster is sleeping peacefully. But there's a scary monster! And another one! Go, Buster, go! That serves Buster right. Great job, gang. What is that? Oh, no! It's a real spooky monster! Phew! It was just Daddy Bus carrying back more firewood. That's enough scaring for one evening. All that joking around has made them very tired. Buster and Scout are on their way home from school. Bye, Scout! What's Buster spotted? Oh, look! It's Diggly and Daisy! Buster wants to help. But safety first! Look at that awesome builder's hat! Buster is helping them move a crate off Rocky the Riverboat. Great teamwork, guys! Now, they're placing the crate on the construction site. Mr. Rubble is off to get some lunch. See you later, Mr. Rubble. Oh, no! The crate is sinking into the mud. Go, Buster, go! Oh, no! Now Buster is stuck in the mud as well. Daisy to the rescue! <gasps> nope, that didn't work. What's that? Diggly is hooked up to that crane! And he's pulling Buster out! It's working! Just a little bit more… Oops! Now they're all stuck! And Mr. Rubble hasn't noticed. But Buster's got a plan. He's wrapping the wire around the crane and attaching it to the crate so they can pull themselves out. 
Brilliant idea, Buster! Jiggly and Daisy are both pulling the rope at different times. But they need to work together. That's it! Hooray! It worked! Mr. Rubble still hasn't noticed them. So they quickly pull the crate out. Everything is back to normal. Well, not quite back to normal. They're all covered in mud. It's time to get cleaned up. Mr. Rubble is spraying them with the hose. There, that's much better. <laughs> now it's time for a spot of lunch. Yum, yum. But what's that? Mr. Rubble has driven straight into the mud. Don't worry, Mr. Rubble. They know just what to Look do. Look at those paint brushes. Buster and his friends are painting the walls in Buster's room today. How exciting! Mommy Bus is bringing them lots of different colored paints. They can paint the wall underneath the window. Hmm, what color should Buster choose? Scout has chosen purple. And Ash has picked red. And Buster? Yellow, of course! Let's paint! Oops! Ash adds a red splat to match Scouts. And Buster adds a yellow splat. Awesome! I wonder what Scout is painting first. It's a rocket! Awesome! Cool! Buster's go next. What's he going to paint? A bumblebee! Not on the cabinet, Ash! Now they're having a paint fight. Be careful! That paint is very messy! Oh dear! They're getting paint everywhere! What a mess! Uh-oh! The yellow paint is all over the floor! And now the purple! Yikes! Mommy Bus is wondering what all that noise is. That was so much fun! Uh-oh! They didn't realize they were making such a mess! But Buster has a plan. They can use Ash's hose to clear it up. The water is washing away the paint. Great job, Ash! Oh no! Mommy Bus is coming and they haven't finished clearing up the mess yet! Time to get all cleaned up! Ash is hosing Buster down. Splash! Now it's Scout's turn! And that looks like so much fun! And finally, Ash. Well done, everyone. Wow, the room looks completely clean. Time for Ash and Scout to head off home. Oops. Well, not completely. It's sports day at Buster School. How exciting. First is the 100 meter sprint. On your marks, get set, go. <laughs> Go, Buster! He's the winner! Hooray! That was easy! Buster is the fastest in school! Next up, it's the high jump! Scout's up first! Scoot, scoot! Wow! That was awesome! Buster thinks he can beat that jump! Off he goes! Oops! Don't worry, Buster! 
He doesn't look very happy. It's the egg and spoon race next. Get ready and go! Buster really wants to win. Whoops! Buster was going too fast and smashed the egg. Oh dear. And Ash is the winner. Well done, Ash. Buster is annoyed about losing. He really wanted to win. He's so upset that he isn't playing ball with the others. That does look fun, Buster. It's not just about winning, Buster. It's about having fun! Hooray! Now they're all having fun together! It's time to present the medals! Buster is third, Ash is second, and Scout is first! Well done, everyone! What a brilliant day! Buster is packing his bag for Ash's birthday picnic. He will need a picnic blanket, something to drink, what else does Buster need? Marshmallows to toast on the fire! Thanks, Daddy Bus! Don't forget Ash's present! Buster is so excited to celebrate Ash's birthday! What's wrong, Buster? He looks a bit unwell. He really doesn't want to miss the party. Buster and Daddy have arrived. Time to play some party games together. Hmm, Buster really doesn't look well. But he doesn't want to miss out on the fun. They're playing hide and seek. Oh no, Buster is feeling really poorly. Maybe sitting by the fire will make him feel better? His friends are worried about him and want to make sure he's okay. Maybe some marshmallows will make him feel better. He can't even eat toasted marshmallows! Daddy Bus is taking Buster home to rest. But he can't forget Ash's birthday present. What is it? It's a painting set! That's very thoughtful, Buster! It's given Ash an idea! He's passing a paintbrush to Bandit and Scout! I wonder what they're going to paint! Buster is resting at home. He isn't his usual happy self. He needs to take his medicine and get some sleep to feel better. Well done, Buster. The next day, Buster is feeling a bit better now. But he's still sad he missed Ash's birthday. Daddy Bus has got Buster some warm soup. And what's that? His friends made a painting for him. And they're outside! Hooray! Buster is so happy to see his friends. And the painting has made him feel much better. It's time for Buster to go to school. He mustn't forget his packed lunch. They're Scout. They don't want to be late. But who's this? A little fire truck? Buster is waving hello. At school, the teacher has a surprise. This is Ash. He's the new kid in school. He's going to be joining their class. Ash is going to Buster because he waved hello. He's so excited to have made a new friend already. Now today, the children are going to learn about parking. 
The teacher is showing them how to do it properly. Now it's their turn to try. Scout's got it. And Buster. Oh. Ash is sticking really close to his new friend. He's following Buster wherever he goes. He doesn't understand Buster is trying to park. Oh dear, I think he's got on Buster's nerves a bit. Buster wanted some space, but Ash didn't understand. At break time, Buster and Scout are playing. Aw, poor Ash has no friends to play with. But Buster and Scout have an idea. Ash can play with them. They're friends now after all. Now they're all playing together. Whoa, good shot, Ash. It's so nice to make new friends. It's evening time and Buster's cousin Bandit is coming for a sleepover. This is going to be so much fun. First, it's time for a snack. I wonder what it will be. Oh, wow! Cookies! They look so tasty! Buster and Bandit love cookies. There, one each. <laughs> Yummy! Now Mommy's put them away. But Bandit knows where they are. Bandit and Buster have such a fun evening playing together. But then it's time for bed. They want to stay up longer, but Mommy says no. Hmm, I think Bandit has an idea. I wonder what he's whispering. Now, everyone's fast asleep. But what's this? Bandit's waking up. Buster too. They're sneaking back downstairs. Oh, Bandit is going to steal some more cookies. That's very naughty. Oops, that made a loud noise. Mommy's caught them. She's very disappointed in Buster and Bandit. The two little buses are very sorry. They'll go back to bed now as they're told. But the next morning, Buster and Bandit have surprised Mommy by making breakfast. They wanted to show how sorry they were. Buster is so excited to go play with his best friend, Scout. What'll they play today? Ooh, Grandpa has a remote-controlled car. Buster's going to control it first. Vroom, vroom. Look at it go. Now Scout wants a go. But Buster wants to keep driving. Uh-oh, Scout doesn't think that's fair. She wants a turn. Oh dear. Now they're fighting over the remote. They both want to control the toy car. Oh no! The car crashed and broke. <gasps> now nobody can play with it. Buster and Scout are upset with each other. They're not playing anymore. It's so sad when friends argue. But wait, I think Grandpa has an idea. Ah. 
<laughs> He's giving the remote to Scout and the toy car to Buster. They'll need to work together to fix it. <laughs> Aw, oh, now they've made up. Oh. Friends always <laughs> forgive each other. <laughs> there! Now they can both control the car. Buster the bus and Scout the car are playing soccer. Buster shoots. Goal! Well done, Buster! Great work! Whoa! It's a soccer bus! He plays for the big bus soccer team. He wants Buster to come try out for the team. But, oh no, Buster is too shy. Scout encourages him, and Buster says okay. He'll come to the big game tomorrow. Scout is very proud of her friend, but Buster is still nervous. That night, Buster is sleeping peacefully in his garage. Buster dreams he's playing on the big bus soccer team. The game starts, but, oh dear, the buses play rough. Now it's Buster's turn in goal. He tries to save it, but oh dear, the soccer buses don't look very impressed. Poor Buster, he's tried so hard. Phew, it was just a bad dream. But now Buster's even more nervous about trying out for the team. Scout does her best to encourage him. Buster can do it. She believes in him. <laughs> now it's time for the big game. Robin blows his whistle and the game begins. Oh no, the red bus has been injured. They can't play anymore. Buster will have to step in. Go on, Buster, you can do it. Buster kicks the ball and the game goes on. Buster is going in goal now. The blue bus takes a shot and... Buster saved it! Well done, Buster! You did so well! Hooray! That was so much fun! Daddy Bus and Buster are visiting the river today. What are they going to get up to? Oh, boats! How exciting! Buster wants to ride the boat. But wait! Not yet. First, Daddy Bus wants to teach Buster how to tie a strong knot so the boat doesn't float away. Daddy Bus has tied a great knot. Now it's Buster's turn. Aw, nearly there. That's okay, Buster. Tying strong knots is really hard. Daddy Bus is going to show Buster how to do it again. But Buster isn't very interested in tying knots. Hmm, the boat is right there. And Daddy is concentrating very hard on his knot. Buster's off. This is much more fun. Oh no, the boat wasn't tied to the dock. The river is carrying Buster away. Buster's trying to paddle back, but he can't seem to steer. Daddy Bus to the rescue! Uh-oh! That boat has a leak! He needs to find another way! Buster is floating even further down the river! Careful, Daddy Bus! What's Buster going to do? Oh! There's a bridge! Buster's grabbing on! Phew! Oh no! The pole broke off! Daddy Bus just missed him. Look out! Uh-oh, Buster has spotted rocks ahead. But he can use the wooden pole to steer away from them. It's working! Good thinking, Buster. Oh no, the pole snapped! And look, a waterfall ahead! What's Daddy pointing to? A rope! Perfect! The waterfall isn't far away now. You can do it! Go, Buster! Nice throw! Daddy Bus is pulling Buster back to the shore. 
Nearly there. Just a bit further. Phew! Back on dry <laughs> land. Now Buster and Daddy are fishing instead. That's much more relaxing. Buster, Bandit, and Scout are having a sleepover. But they're still <laughs> wide awake. They're having a great time staying up. They're too excited to go to sleep. <gasps> Who's that? It's Grandpa Bus. He says it's getting late. It's time to go to bed. They can't play games and be up all night. Hmm, maybe this nightlight will help them get to sleep. Wow, look at those stars. Buster loves stars. He wonders what it would be like to be a space rocket flying fast through them. Oh look, it's space rocket Buster. Buster and his friends are using their imagination. They're flying through space. <laughs> Check it out. There's Earth. They're going to race to it. Ready, steady, go! Buster is in the lead. Oh no! Bandit knocked him off course. Aw, oh, now Buster's far behind. How can he zoom back ahead? Aha! Whoa! Buster is spinning around Saturn! Now he's going really fast! What a clever idea! He's overtaking Bandit and Scout! Hmm, what's Bandit up to now? Careful! Meteors! Bandit is throwing them at Buster and Scout. Hmm, they have to stop him. They're throwing an even bigger meteor back at Bandit. That'll teach him. And the race is back on. Buster and Scout are neck and neck. Nearly there. Space Rocket Buster wins the race! Way to go! Uh-oh! Busted! Again! Grandpa heard them playing. That was a lot of fun, but now it really is time to go to bed. Good night, everyone. Buster, Ash, and Mira are playing hide-and-seek tag in the soft play area. There's Buster hiding in the ball pit. Ash has found him! Now Ash is trying to tag Buster. Quick, Buster, Ash is right behind you. Oops, looks like you found Mira. Tag, well done, Ash, you got him. There's Daddy Bus. He says it's time to go. But Buster, Ash, and Mira don't want to leave yet. Looks like they have a plan. Run! And the game is on. Daddy Bus is trying to catch Buster, but Buster is too quick. Almost. Oh no, Daddy Bus has crashed into the ball pit. It's the perfect time to find somewhere to hide. Where should they go? Mira has found a place behind the play blocks. Buster has seen a space behind the slide. But Ash is already there. Quick, Buster, quick! Daddy Bus is back on the hunt for them. Now where is Buster? There he is! But Daddy Bus hasn't seen him yet. Daddy Bus spots some wheels by the play blocks. Hmm, who could it be? It's Mira! Well found, Daddy Bus. Now where could the others be? What was that moving behind the slide? Boo! There's Ash! 
But where's Buster? There he is, hiding behind the tunnel. Looks like he has an idea to distract Daddy Bus. <gasps> What's that? A bouncy ball. Daddy Bus is going to investigate. Now Buster can find a new hiding spot. That's very sneaky. Maybe Buster can use that trampoline to help him hide. Hmm, Daddy Bus still can't find Buster anywhere. He's found a new hiding spot in the ball pit. Oh well, Daddy Bus, Ash, and Mira decide that it's time to go. Oh no, did they leave without Buster? Boo, we found you. That was very sneaky. Well done, guys. Now it's really time to go. What a fun day! Mommy Bus and Ashley are having a relaxing day in, while Buster and Ash play tag. Oops, watch out, Buster. Hmm, maybe Buster and Ash should play outside instead. Wow, look at all that snow. What should they play? Oh, Buster knows a good game. How about cops and robbers? Ash can be the cop, and Buster can be the robber. Grandpa Bus is struggling to turn that hose on. Can Ash catch Buster? Oops, nearly. Oh, watch out, Grandpa. The hose is spraying water all over the shed. It's a bit hard to control. Oh, look. Buster has spotted the shed as a good hiding place. Off he goes, with Ash not far behind. Ash got him. Well done. <gasps> oh, no. The water on the shed is freezing into icicles. They're trapped. Buster and Ash are honking their horns for help, but no one can hear them. What else can they try? Oh, Buster has a new idea. Buster is trying to push Ash through the window, but he doesn't quite fit. Oh, there's Grandpa Bus. Quick, try to get his attention. He's seen them. But, oh dear, Grandpa Bus thinks they're just playing a game. What can they do now? Oh, a fishing rod. Buster has an idea. Grandpa Bus is really looking forward to eating his sandwich. But, oh no, it's snatched away. Buster is using the fishing rod to hook the sandwich and get Mommy Bus's attention. Go, Buster! It worked! Mommy Bus has spotted them. Mommy Bus to the rescue. What's she got there? Ah, Mommy Bus is using a hairdryer to melt the icicles. What a good idea! But they're melting very slowly. Hmm, this could take a while. She's determined it will work. Nearly there. Buster and Ash are free at last. Thanks, Mommy. And everything is back to normal. Buster, Bandit, and Mira are outside playing with their soccer ball. Daddy Bus is fishing. <sighs> he hasn't caught any fish yet. Buster has some great skills. Whoa, and so does Mira. That's a big kick, Bandit. Watch out, Mira. Oh no, the ball knocked Mira's hat off. Where did it go? It's not over here. It's definitely not over there. Mira is upset that her favorite hat is missing. Don't worry, Mira. We'll help you find it. Buster has an idea. 
we can look for the hat using our imagination. Now we can turn the search into a fun game. Off they go. It's time to look for that hat. Whoa, those are very big footprints. They decide to follow them and see where they go. Stop! What's that up ahead? <gasps> it's a dinosaur! And he's wearing Mira's hat! Uh-oh! Run! They're going as fast as they can, but the dinosaur isn't far behind. And Buster spots a big volcano up ahead. They've got to get over that puddle. Buster and Mira make it, but oh no! Bandit gets stuck! Buster is trying to help Bandit get out. <gasps> Uh-oh! The dinosaur caught up with them! He looks very scary! But what's the dinosaur doing? He's seen his reflection! And I think he likes the hat. But that's Mira's hat, and she wants it back. Looks like she has an idea. <laughs> wow! Nice shot, Mira! The ball knocked the hat right off! Oh no! But looks like the hat is flying straight towards the volcano! How are they going to get it back now? Buster can do it using his imagination! It's Super Buster! Off he flies to save the hat! It's getting closer and closer to the volcano. He needs to be quick. Go, Buster! He got it! <laughs> Thanks, Buster. You're a great friend. They played a fun game, and Mira got her favorite hat back. Everything is more fun when you use your imagination. Daddy Bus is reading a book about wildlife. There are so many amazing animals. Bah! What was that? Buster's taking photos with his new camera. <laughs> what a silly picture, Daddy. <gasps> it's given Daddy an idea. Daddy Bus and Buster are on a wildlife scavenger hunt to find. This red and blue butterfly. Wow! Buster is determined to find it. <gasps> there it is! Buster, behind you! Oh no, they didn't see it! Maybe the butterfly is hiding in that long grass? <laughs> Let's check it out! Oh look! Buster has spotted something! <laughs> Snap! Wait a second. It wasn't the red butterfly. It was Ash the fire truck with his mommy. Buster takes a photo for them. What a nice thing to do, Buster. Buster, look up! Quick! There's the butterfly! Oh no! He missed it again! <laughs> Aha! Buster knows where they should look next. Maybe the butterfly will be by the lake. Hmm. <gasps> there it is! There's the butterfly! Steady, Buster. Don't scare it away. Oh no! Don't worry, Buster. You just have to be patient. What's that? It's red and blue. Oh no, not again. It was just teacher's red bow tie. It's a great photo though, Buster. Mm. Poor Buster. He's upset he hasn't found the butterfly yet. It's okay, Buster. You just need to be patient. <gasps> There it is! Buster, look up! Buster, look up! <laughs> That's it. Take a deep breath and be patient. He's getting some amazing photos of all the wildlife. <gasps> There's the butterfly! 
<gasps> Quick! Go, Buster! <laughs> oh. <laughs> he finally managed to get the photo, and it was definitely worth the wait. Look, it's Bandit. He's coming over to visit Buster today. <laughs> Bandit is so excited. I wonder why. Wow, what a cool dinosaur, Buster. And Bandit has one too. <laughs> They're off to play at the park. <laughs> They're having so much fun playing with their dinosaur toys. <laughs> but wait, what's that? Could it be a dinosaur? <gasps> Buster and Bandit are using their imaginations to pretend they're on a dinosaur adventure. What was that? It's a T-Rex! Run! Go, go, go! <gasps> How will they get across? Quick, the dinosaur is coming! <gasps> Aha! Buster has his cowboy lasso! Go, Buster! But Bandit is a bit nervous. Come on, Bandit. You can do it. Bandit is facing his fears. Woo! Good job, Bandit! There's no way the T-Rex can reach them over here. Uh-oh. Or maybe it can. Look, they can hide behind that tree. Quick, Bandit! Wait a second. An egg? Oh, the T-Rex wasn't chasing them after all. It was looking for its egg. Oh, no. It's heading towards that cliff. Quick, Buster. Phew! <laughs> the egg is safe now. The dinosaur is so grateful to Buster. <laughs> what a fun game. And it wasn't really a dinosaur. It was just Diggly, and he was looking for his ball. <laughs> Everyone loves playing dinosaurs. Roar! Roar! What a fantastic day playing at the park. It's time for the annual nature race, which Daddy Bus has organized. This is going to be so much fun! Ash and Buster are going to work together. They need to race through the woods as fast as they can. And the first one back gets the shiny trophy. Get set, go, go, go! Bandit has overtaken Buster and Ash. He really wants to win. What is he up to? <gasps> He's changed the sign! So Buster and Ash are going the wrong way! Oh no! <laughs> huh? There's no more path! This can't be right! And what's that? A huge tire print! Ash thinks it must be a monster! <laughs> nope, don't worry, Ash. Monsters aren't real. Uh-oh, I think they're lost, but they need to keep going. They're slowing down. Oh, dear, they're stuck in the mud. What are they going to do? <gasps> what is that? It sounds like a monster! Ha! Ah! <laughs> ah! <laughs> Don't worry! It's just a monster truck! And they're very friendly! She's pulling Ash out of the mud! 
Wow, she's strong! And now it's Buster's turn. <laughs> this monster truck is called Mira. She's lost too, just like them. Buster says they can work as a team. There's Naughty Bandit. He's almost at the finish line. But look! Buster and his friends are ahead. They ended up taking a shortcut. <laughs> Hooray! Mira won the race. But she couldn't have done it without her new friends. And she's won the trophy! Yippee! But Mira feels sad for Bandit being on his own. She knows what that feels like. Bandit feels bad for cheating in the big race. Don't worry, Bandit. There's no need to cheat when you have friends by your side. And it's always fun to make new friends. It's a cold winter's night. What's Buster up to? Oh, wow! A drawing of some fireworks. Buster's so excited because tonight he's going to a real fireworks display. But wait, he's forgotten something. A nice warm hat. There. Now it's time to go and watch the fireworks. <laughs> oh, what's that? Fireworks make loud noises. Oh dear, they frightened Buster. He doesn't like loud noises. Aw, poor Buster. He's shaking. What's Mommy doing? Oh, Buster's toy car makes loud noises. But that's not scary. What's that loud noise? It's Grandpa with a soccer whistle. Buster loves soccer. He doesn't mind that loud noise either. What's that loud noise? Oh, it's popcorn popping. Buster loves popcorn. He doesn't mind that noise. <laughs> wow, the fireworks are so pretty. <sighs> Maybe loud noises aren't so bad after all. <laughs> Buster's going to give it another try. <laughs> Whoa! Look at those colorful fireworks. 